Hi everyone, this is Sasha from Abacus. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through the manager workflow in Abacus. Um, there are going to be two parts to this. The first we're going to walk through uh, manager approval on mobile. Um, we'll be demonstrating it on an iPhone device, but that being said, um, you will have the same capabilities as a manager if you have an Android. Um, you can download the app from the App Store for Apple, uh, Google Play for Android, um, and then we're going to move on to the Abacus website and uh, sort of talk about the differences between that workflow um, and the different tips and tricks and things you can do as a manager in Abacus. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start showing you my screen. So we are actually going to start in mobile for now. So when you are in mobile, uh, you'll notice that there are uh, two settings that are at the very top of the screen. Uh, there is a manager toggle and a personal toggle, um, and you can switch between these for your different roles within Abacus. If you are personally submitting an expense uh, or want to check on a reimbursement or want to check on where your expense is, if it's been approved or denied, anything like that, you're going to want to be in the personal section. But any approving or any work that you're going to do um, you know, to get caught up in expenses, um, to to review anything that's been submitted to you, you're going to want to be in manager mode. So always make sure if something doesn't look right, make sure you're on the right toggle. Um, there's a similar system for web as well. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is uh, on the manager page is your inbox. Uh, so your inbox is right here, and these are all of the expenses. Uh, you know, from the people that you manage that have been submitted that come to you. A uh, couple different ways that you're able to approve them on the mobile phone. Uh, so if you really want to look into an expense, check on a receipt, look at all the information, you can simply, you know, touch into it. You can see the receipt, the amount, the user, the date, merchant, notes, um, any other information you might need, category, uh, and this is all customizable uh, for, for your company and you'll see uh, so let's say that the category was um, attendees and they didn't, the, you know, the submitter didn't leave an attendee. What you could do is you can always leave comments. So you're able to talk to your users through the expense and that way it links them to the expense and they know exactly what you're talking about. Um, so you could always comment. Uh, and that's going to ping the user to say that they need more information. Uh, another thing you're able to do is you're able to actually edit the expense if you'd like. Um, you can you know, use the edit buttons here, add a receipt, um, click into any of the specific details as well. Uh, and of course there is a big approve button on the bottom. Uh, since that was submitted from a corporate card, there will only be an approve button. Um, and if you want to deny it, you're able to do that from web. But we always suggest the workflow rather than you know denying the expense, uh, always asking for clarification and asking for more information through comments, things like that uh, is typically the way to go. Uh, one thing if you want, if you don't want to look into these expenses individually, um, you can either swipe on top to approve them all at once or swipe individually. So if you know that... Uh, someone was on a trip and you want to make sure you're approving their, um, you know, expenses that are within a certain budget, something like that, um, you know, you can swipe through accordingly and then give the ones that you want to give a little more attention to that attention. Uh, the other thing to note in your inbox is the completed section. Uh, so these are all of the expenses that you've completed and, and sort of you can see the pathway there as well. Uh, so the good thing with the manager app uh, on the iPhone is, you know, you can be out of the office, you can be on a trip, and it's really easy to quickly look at what you need to and approve what you need to uh, to make sure all this information is captured as quickly as possible. Um, that being said, there are more extensive capabilities for a manager in web, uh, and we'll get to that. Lots of tracking capabilities and lots of ability to customize, um, you know, based on who you're managing and what workflow is going to work best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the web page here. Um, so this is what your main page is going to look like as a manager. Uh, so as you can see, there's that same toggle between manager and personal if you want to submit your own expenses uh, and looking at you know what work you have and what expenses have been sent your way. 
There's a main inbox, and the, that inbox is going to be everything that's just waiting on your approval, how many expenses, the amount, things like that. But you'll also notice there are some other, other you know, folders in here. The next is pending. So pending are any expenses that are waiting on someone else's approval, and completed are all the expenses that have been completed. So you'll notice that there are some other folders in here of different, you know, sorted expenses. Uh, so you actually have the ability within Abacus to create your own live reports. Uh, so, you know, we just have all that are sent to you, all that are pending, all that are completed, but you are able to choose any filters you like with this button filter expenses in the top right hand corner. And you can sort by date, um, you know, by section where the expense is, user, manager, amount, merchant, etc. Also, including any custom fields that your company has made, um, they're going to show up here. So, you know, job code, project, anything like that, you're going to be able to click through and pick what's most important to you. So, uh, one example I like to use is let's say you have a lot of, uh, you know, heavy high expenses for client meals. Um, all you would have to do is go to categories, you know, select client meal here, um, you know, whatever one you want. So let's say you are in client meal now. Uh, so these are every all the expenses that have been categorized as client meal and within and you're able to click the little star here to create a report. So let's say this was, you know, last month's meal expenses. This is a pre-made one. Um, we also have a client meal one that's already pre-made. All you have to do is click what you're looking for, whether it be, you know, completed expenses for this category or, you know, expenses in the inbox for, um, you know, education training, you know, whatever custom fields you want. All you have to do is click on Save Report, you'll name it, and it'll show up right here on the left-hand side. And this is going to live update. So if you, you know, if you did client meals, anyone else who's submitting a new client meal expense, it's automatically going to come over into here. So you can click into these live reports you've created to see everything in that category. Uh, but another thing you can do is you can quickly arrow down and sort by location, client, or user. So if there have been, you know, a lot of expenses from a certain client that you want to get through, or if you know someone has been expensing a particular amount, they really need to get reimbursed, uh, able to quickly go through. And if you'd like to, you can hit the checkbox to um, select all of these expenses, which you can then edit at once, um, you know, whatever you'd like. You can also click through individually um, you know, let's say that these were smaller amounts, so you wanted to quickly approve them and give these ones a little bit of a closer look. You could do that as well. Able to bulk edit. Uh, and another thing you're able to do is you're able to change the approver. So let's say that these were a little bit higher than the typical budget, but um, you as a manager, or, or let's say that these were, you know, project expenses expenses for something that you know you weren't as familiar with you're also very easily able to select all of these expenses and reassign them to another manager who you think might be better to you know better suited to to look at these And that's going to reassign all of those. They won't be in your inbox. They will shoot over to the next, um, you know, manager or admin's inbox. So that's one way that you're really able to um, go through and find the expenses that are going to be most important to you in the quickest manner to make sure that those are getting the most attention first. Uh, so another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, so I'll go back to the main inbox of just the, um, you know, expenses that are are waiting your approval. Another thing we are able to do is look at them in different forms. So let's say you wanted to look at 
the overall spend of these client meals. You know, you wanted to get a better idea of where people have been spending or who they've been spending with. You can quickly hit on this charts button. And this will bring up a few categories for you to search through. Um, one being merchants, so you can say, wow, you know, we're really spending a lot at you know this restaurant, maybe we should look into a rewards card, or just to get an idea of the larger view of the group of expenses you've selected, so you can kind of look at trends, uh, anything like that that you might want to look at very quickly. You can go up here to charts, um, you know, for any of the custom fields or you know custom filters that you've used um, for things that you want to give it a closer look to. So the next view I wanted to talk about is, uh, you know, strictly helpful for an approving standpoint. Um, one thing that you can do is receipt view. So in receipt view, what this does is this pulls up the screen so that you're able to more carefully look at uh, the receipt and the information on the side. Hit on your keyboard A for approve or D for deny, and simple as that, you can go through. Um, a larger number of expenses a lot more quickly, um, you know, so you're able to really give this a closer look um, and not have to really like click or scan through much, just A and D to quickly get through. Um, it's, it's a nice way to kind of quicken up that workflow if you're a little bit behind on expenses but don't want to bulk approve because you still want to give everything a closer look. If they're all larger expenses, anything like that. Um, another thing you're able to do um, to sort further, you know, not just you know, categories that are most important, users that are most important. You can also sort by um, the dates of the expenses or the amounts. So if you want to make sure you're always looking at larger expenses first, um, things that were, you know, have the furthest date away so that you're approving the oldest expenses first, anything like that, you do have those extra capabilities as well. Uh, another thing you're able to do is export any custom information you want. So through this filter information, you can pick up all of the, you know, let's say you wanted to look at all of the supplies and equipment. You can quickly export, and it's going to export those expenses. Um, you can export it with a PDF, so that'll include the list of the expenses and, expenses and pictures of the receipts, uh, or CSV if you wanted to have it in an Excel format. Um, so that's good if you really want to dive into spend or, you know, show it to someone else, show certain spend activity, um, or, you know, have a discussion about someone's spend behavior. So that is the overview of manager capabilities in Abacus. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at abacus.com.